Sometimes you will see angles in trigonometry being measured in degrees, but other times pi. Alright? Now the thing is, I mean not pi, radians. <laughs> so angles are measured in degrees and also in radians. I was looking at these pi business here. Yeah. But anyway. The thing is, where do these things come from? How do you do the conversion? Alright. Let's see how we can understand or remember where this pi pi business come from and the radian business. Let's make our circle. We have a circle here. Alright. Now. Remember. You have the radius of the circle. From the center. To any point on the circumference. Is the radius. Alright. Now, suppose you have two of these and these radii, you have another radius here. You can see that the angle between here would be, remember, is 90 degrees. You see that? Just as a reminder. Now, suppose you have another radius and you open it to this point, this angle, so that this distance coming around here, <coughs> the distance of this arc. From here to here, the arc length equal to one of the radius. All right, this arc length is equal to one of the radius because I could just write r equal to one r. 1R is the length of the radius. Alright? Now, the question is, what would be this angle? In degrees, how many degrees would that be? Let me see something here. These dots that I'm going to get rid of them. <coughs> Let's look at it again. Let's look at this thing again. The same circle. Make a copy of it and put it down here. Again, if we should make the radius here. Now we have this length, e, this arc length, equal to R. This length is R, alright? And then, we do it again. We use straight line. We do this thing again. So we have R again. Remember this R is from here to here. We make this straight. Number curve properly. This R is from here to here. This R is 
runs along here. Oh, my, my. I need to line up this thing properly. So this R comes here. And then this R goes here. And here. Good. Then we do it again. We get another R. Alright. So this R goes here to here. We do it again. And get yet another R. So we have uh, this arc length. Remember the arc length is R. Alright. We do it again. Right? And get yet another R. We probably wouldn't be able to do it fully again, but we have uh, some amount of space here, right? Whatever this is. But, if we swing this thing right around, all the way, we would cover one revolution. And that complete revolution would contain 360 degrees right but that one revolution it would cover one circumference if we add up all the arc lengths going around remember the arc length is part of the circumference the arc is part of the circumference. So if we go right around with it, right? We would want, let me get rid of this R here. We would be able to find out how many R's we cover. No, this is not a full R. This is part of R, not the full R. Let me redo that. This is part of an R. It wouldn't be a full R. No. The thing is this. When you calculate the circumference, what's the relationship between the circumference and the radius? The circumference equal let me put C for circumference equal R. Yeah, put C I R. I can't bother to keep writing out the C I R C U M F E R E N C E. So I just shorten it C I R. The circumference equal what? Do you remember how you calculate the circumference when you know the radius? Circumference is 2 pi r. It's 2 pi r. Alright? Now, let's look at this. This circumference contains 360 degrees. So 360 degrees is equal to 2. Oh boy, I write 2. Is equal, three, is equal to 2 pi r. Alright? But remember that this is the radius. From here to here is our radius. Right. In fact, let me just take a reminder. This is R. From here to here is R. All of these are R's. So, from center to circumference is R. But we open the angles so that the R length is also R. So, this length from here to here along the curve here is equal to this length from here to here. Now, 2 pi r. 2 pi r. r, in this case, is an arc length. 
So, 360 degrees would cover two pi arc lengths. Alright? It would cover two pi of the arc lengths. Now, here, if we divide both sides by two, we'd say 180 degrees. is equal to pi arc lengths radius no here if we should have these angles accurately drawn then this angle would be equal to 1 Radian. Alright. That would be one radian. Do you see that? So I can rewrite this and say one hundred and eighty degrees is equal to is equal to pi radian. One hundred eighty degrees is equal to pi radians. If we double one eighty, it's three sixty, and we would double the pi to so two pi radians. You see. So, what we're saying here, one eighty degrees is equal to two pi radian. Three sixty degrees is equal to pi. Oh no. I'm mixing up myself. Um, let's do that again. Three sixty degrees is equal to pi radians. One complete rev. Give it two pi radians, right? Two pi. My three sixty degrees is equal to two pi radians. So one complete revolution is equal to two pi radians. Keep making his mistake, I guess. It's very very early in the morning. What time is it now? Four fifty three and I woke up long time. Want to go back to bed. So keep making this mistake. I also will end this and go back to bed. So, but anyway, we look at this. 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. That means one complete revolution is 2 pi r, which is 2 pi radians. Where a radian is the length of the arc. Length of part of the circumference that is equal to the radius. They call it radian. Remember? Radius, radian. So half 360, you get 180 is equal to pi radians. If 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. If you half 180, you get 90. Equal half. Pi, you get pi over 2. Pi over 2 radians and so on. 3 quarter. Or 3 times 90 is 270. 3 times pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. And so on. Right? <coughs> so we can also look at the fact. That if we divide both sides by pi. We get 1. Radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. Alright. Now. Let's see what the numbers would be. For 2 pi. So. 
so two where's pi pi is supposed to be here oh yeah two pi equal 6.28 something all right so pi divided by two is 1.5 radians all right um three pi over two four point seven something all right but <coughs> if you're answering a question with it just keep it as two pi pi over two and so on unless you're asked to write out the number probably too many decimal places or significant figures whatever it is are you going are you Asked to write it out, the exact or the approximate figure, whatever it is. All right, so what do we have? Degrees and radians. So these are some of the values, degrees and radians. So remember, one radian is the angle. In the sector of a circle where the arc length that is formed is equal to the radius of the circle right so that's one radian and we have the conversion tables here 360 degrees is 2 pi radian because the circumference is 2 pi r all right so that's it for now i'll see you in the next video